This is Sound Articulations in VCV Rack Episode 3. We examined how retardo looping delay works. We also integrated Snake from South Pole. As an unexpected guest, we got to deal with audio crackling. Especially when recording. But first things first. What should snake? You can see snake as a compact band of wires, which actually hangs behind all the modules. Snake solves the problem of a spaghetti patch. In this example we have a lot of threads that lies crisscross over the patch. Often it becomes unclear where every thread goes. By using snake, the wiring can remain in the same row and we can recapture the signals in another row. Snake has 16 channels, each with 10 in and outputs. You can use Snake for everything, clock, voltage and audio signals. Keep things organized. For example, clock resets and run only on channel 0. Audio on channel 1 through 9. Channel A, for volume control. Channel F, for everything drum is concerned. Keep channel 0, always on the left side, all others on the right side. Let's take a closer look at Retardo. To enter Retardo select Smoke from South Pole. Right click on the module and select Looping Delay. To get a better picture of how Retardo works, we put all buttons in a position where the audio sounds as if Retardo was not there. Playing around with high pass and low pass is usually not a good idea, because it is at the expense of volume. So use this button cautiously. Let's experiment with time start.
what with feedback. Let's add some reverb. What if we use overlap duration? When using spread, the difference is barely perceptible. I can continue here, but because of the length of the video, I'm going to leave it here. The main thing is that this is a better picture of how Ricardo works.